Hello everyone, I am Dr. Devaram, Assistant Professor in Geology from Andungar College, Bikaner. Today, we are going to discuss about petroleum and natural gas. The word petroleum has its origin in the Greek word that is petra for rock and oleum for oil. Petroleum or crude oil is a naturally occurring liquid found in porous rocks or in reservoirs below the earth's surface. It is an organic material comprised of hydrocarbon molecules, uh, molecules formed by hydrogen and carbon atoms with possible inorganic contaminants such as nitrogen, carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide and others. Crude oil is found in subsurface rock formation known as oil reservoirs. It is typically found in presence of natural gas or associate natural gas. Associate natural gas are hydrocarbon gases that coexist with crude oil and may be present as gas dissolved in the crude oil in the form of solution gas or a distinct gas phase in contact with the crude oil in the form of free gas or in the both conditions. Here it is the diagrammatic representation of oil and gas in the subsurface region. This is the oil and gas rich shale and it is unconventional oil gas well. Here also a conventional non associated gas it is. Now some basic terminology related to the petroleum geology. The study of geological process that create crude oil and natural gas reservoir is referred as petroleum geology. In this discussion we will also need to include brief discussion of related specialized area of geological study including stratigraphy and structural geology. Stratigraphy is the study of layers or strata within the rock formations and structural geology is the study of deformation of rock under tectonic forces. Here the photograph showing the layering or we can say the strata and stratigraphy and deformation structure in the form of anticlines. So these inverted bowl shaped feature in this photo is an anticlinal structure. Yes. So all these are of inverted bowl shaped structure. or anticline structure uh, or simply we can say these are anticline. In anticlines statically form the most common crude oil and natural gas reservoirs. So there are five geological requirements for the formation of a conventional hydrocarbon reservoir. In which first one is the source rock, second one is migration path, third one is cap rock, Fourth one is reservoir rock and fifth one is the trap. So we will discuss one by one. Here this is the uh, diagrammatic representation of all this uh, requirement for the petroleum geology. This is the sub surface. Here there is an anticline structure in which the grey color showing the source rock and then the oil is migrate to this via this migration path and then there is a black band which is showing the cap rock and 
in this empty client farm oil and gas get reservoir so first one is the source rock the source rock is represented in by the color in the previous diagram this is the rock in which original organic material is converted into hydrocarbons the hydrocarbon do not necessarily originate in the hydrocarbon reservoir itself but are generated away from the reservoir in the rocks that are conducive in the hydrocarbon generation the source rock are typically organic rich shell shell stone or it may be the quartz second one is the migration path since the hydrocarbons are generated away from the reservoir we must be a, there must be a pathway for hydrocarbons to migrate from the source to the reservoir and this pathway is migration path in the hydrocarbon system in the example shown in the migration path is water filled rock layer aquifer that is the communication with both source rock and hydrocarbon in the reservoir third one is the cap rock as shown in the previous figure all fluid migration is upward this is because the main driving mechanism in the hydrocarbon mechanism is its buoyancy which occurs because the oil and gas are less dense uh, lighter than the resident water so in order to prevent this buoyant flow from occurring of all of the way to the surface a vertical flow barrier or a cap rock is required along the migration path and at the reservoir itself a cap rock is simply an overlying rock layer that is impervious to the flow which can um, obstruct the flow uh, permeability is a property of rock that is measure of the ease in which fluid can flow through the porous media in our case a rock formation and then the reservoir rock we have the hydrocarbon accumulation is the presence of the reservoir rock the reservoir rock is the same rock formation as the migration path the most common reservoir rock are the sedimentary rocks there are two requirements for commercial crude oil and natural gas reservoir that is of high porosity and high permeability of the reservoir rock the porosity of a rock is defined as the fraction of rocks bulk volume occupied by the pores for example a, a cubic feet of rock with 15% porosity will contain 0.15 cubic feet of pore space consequently a rock formation with higher poros porosity implies greater storage capacity than a rock formation with the lower porosity and then the permeability which is defined as the ease in which the fluid flow through porous media a high permeability formation implies greater oil and gas production rates and more economically attractive production wells and last and uh, the fifth component is hydro carbon system is the trap a trap or trapping mechanism is a change in the stratigraphic structural deformation that is capable of stopping the migration process and keeping the oil and gas in place over geological time the trap is an anticline like that shown in the photograph statically anticline are the most common crude oil and natural gas traps can be categorized as two types first one is the stratigraphic trap and second one is the structural trap stratigraphic traps are related to the layering of the rock strata and structural traps are related to the structural deformation of rock formations here 
these are the stratigraphic trap shown in this figure so first one is the pinch out trap and the second one is the uncarbonated trap in these figures the yellow layers are represent reservoir rock while the green area represent as the oil accumulation in the reservoir traps this is the oil accumulation and this is the reservoir rock and here these are the we can say the trap or the impregnable in the rock and this is the overburden so this is the pinch out trap and this is the uncarbonated trap we have the strata are inclined and then at further horizontal strata is present the second one is the structural trap these are also related to the mechanical deformation and failure of the reservoir rock the figure shows an anticline structure this is the anticline structure or anticline the anticline is typically the most common reservoir trap the reason for this is a very simple an anticline trap simply requires that in the reservoir rock and cap rock be folded in manner that can trap the lighter hydrocarbons so this is the anticline trap this is the fault trap and third one is the salt dome trap in which the inclusion of salt in the oil traps so a fault trap is created when a rock formation undergo mechanical failure during an earthquake and the resulting fault causes a porous and permeable rock formation to be positioned adjacent to the and impermeable rock formation thus closer to the trap is formed the cross fault in the visual layer and third one is the salt dome the trap along a salt dome these traps are common in areas where salt formation exists such as in the gulf of mexico since large volume of salt behave in a plastic manner over geologic time the weight of overburden creates great pressure within the salt causing it to flow through and block a weak spot in the overburden this salt intrusion can keep its hydrocarbon trap above and to the flank of the intrusion which is depicted in the figure c as well as this so this is the intrusion of the salt and the so there is a formation of hydrocarbon traps above and to the flank of the intrusion so these are the some basics of petroleum geology and terminology or the requirements related to the petroleum geology thank you